everyone. On this video, I want to share with you guys the unboxing of the mystery box I got with Vanessa Molina. Vanessa Molina is an indie brand here in Brazil, and they had this like mystery box launch, and I was excited to try some things from the brand. And since the mystery box is more accessible pricing, I thought it would be a cool idea to try. I also got a thermal top coat that I will show to you guys, and I had a small issue with my order, it got delayed. So I also got a bonus polish as an apology for the delay. I thought it was really cool of them. Starting off here, we have a little wax for the cuticles to hydrate using this little like stick form. This soap is some little like paper soaps that you can use to wash your hands. And this little note is apologizing for the delay and mentioning that they sent like a gift to make up for it. Which again, very classy. I thought that was cool of them. So really nice. And now the one polish that I got, which was the thermal top coat and the bonus one. And below we have the actual mystery box itself on that little hollow box. I got the 10 piece mystery box, but they have other sizes as well. When I got it, it sold out right after, but I think they relaunched it. I saw a post on their Instagram uh, last week or the week before, so they might still have some, or you can keep an eye for next time if it's something you're interested. Starting with the top coat is called Blackout. It's a thermal top coat that switches from a transparent white-ish to a black, and it has some little hollow flakes on it. And I really wanted this one for nail art to do kind of like a peekaboo stamping or some other types of things you can play around with hiding and showing. I also did one stamping where I used it for the sky so you could have it like the day sky and the night sky, which I thought turned out kind of cool. So I'm really excited to play around more with this thermal top coat. And it worked really well, like the shift. You can see it was black in this cold, cold state, but it switches to the transparent very easily. And you're left with only like the hollow flakes instead of the color. Next up, the gift polish is this one from their line with the Care Bears. They have a line of hollows uh, for each Care Bear. And this is the bonus polish you get, I think if you get the whole set, which is a silver linear hollow with some, I think they're like burgundy flakes. I already tried this one, as you can see in the picture. Really pretty, like a linear hollow, but a little bit different with the flakies there. I thought that was cool. And again, I thought it was really nice sending a gift to make up for the delay. They didn't have to, but that was really nice of them. And now onto the mystery box. It comes in this really nice hollow little gift box. As I mentioned, I got the 10 piece one. So this box is holding two rows of five polishes each. If you get more or less, you might get a different packaging there, but everything came very well packaged. And let's begin the unboxing there. One thing I noticed, except for one of the polishes, all the others in the mystery box were not labeled. So they do mention that it can be like some overpour, or it can be an older polish or something that they tried and didn't turn out okay. So it makes sense that they don't have labels, but just so you guys know. Also, this first one is the only one that came in a different bottle. It came in this square one, where the other ones come in a round one. So probably an older packaging or a specialty packaging they did. This is a linear hollow. It's kind of like a pinkish, reddish, strawberry color. Very pretty. I really like the hollow. It was a formula I wanted to try from them because they have very pretty linear hollows on the side. So I was excited to try one in the mystery box. That way I know in the future if I want to get one, kind of what to expect from the formula. Another thing I noticed, the box itself was a bit different on some of the mystery ones, but it's just the layout. The information is all the same. Again, they probably reuse it from an older one just to get rid of it. Next up, we have this multi-chrome one. It is a black base with burgundy and golden and kind of orangey shift. This is a magnetic I found out later. Uh, so I'll show you guys at the end of the video what that looks like. It doesn't have any identification saying that it is uh, magnetic. So just so you guys know, if you do get the mystery, there is a little bit of lack of information there in that case. Next up, I got this one, which is packed with flakies. On the bottle, it looks more like a lilac color, but you can see on the nails is more gold leaning. And I was really impressed with their flakies. They shine even in the shade. It's, it's amazing. Even with no light being cast on it, they still shine very much. 
and it is re really packed. It does apply on the nail very well. You don't have to keep fishing for the flakies when you're doing it. So really impressed with their flaky formulas. And this is the only one that had an ID on it. It's called I Will Protect You. This is from an older line and they also had it for a PPU, I think, in July. And it's this beautiful blue with this bunch of flakies. It looks like broken glass or like a sea or something. So pretty. Again, very impressed with this flaky formula that they have. Shines very much, applies super well. It was my experience across all the flakies. And last one on the row here, this was a very gentle, hollow, shimmery one. On the packaging, it looks more white, but when you apply, it leans a lot towards that gold color in the shimmer. And you can also see the hollow very well. Very delicate, but it did cover well in two to three coats. I don't have pictures, but I, I did apply that one. And it was really delicate. Maybe not a formula I would have picked up, but it was cool to get to try it. Starting the last roll, we have this beautiful multi-chrome blue with reflective glitter also on it. You can see it when you shine the flash, the reflective coming alive there. And it's kind of a blue, kind of a purple. Very, very pretty. I really liked it. And the reflective is really nice. It applies really smoothly. I have some reflectives that are a little more textured. This one is much nicer. And the color is just beautiful. Second one in the bottom row here, we have another kind of multi-chrome one with a black base. This one is a gold with a green. It kind of looks like a beetle type of color. And this one does have the magnetic indication on it. I'll show you guys at the end of the video also. When I grabbed my magnet, I forgot to have one with me. But again, just to note, some of them might be identified and some might not. It's a mystery box. You don't really know what you're getting. You have to play around with it. This is the most different one. This is one I probably would have never picked up. It's an orange linear with some burgundy flakies and a bit of reflective glitter also on it. But I like playing around with it. I think for Halloween is a really nice color. You can play around with some pumpkin nail art or some fall nail art. Definitely, I think out of the whole box, the only one I would not pick up. But I still think it was very pretty and I think it can be used for a lot of things. And second to last, another very shimmery hollow one very similar to the last one in the first row, but this one is more lilac leaning. I also tried this one, also very pretty, very delicate, very fairy-like, and I probably wouldn't have picked something so delicate, but it's nice knowing that they have these types of formulas and how they work. Again, in the future, if I want to buy something, I kind of know what I'm expecting. And last but not least, we have another huge, chunky, flaky, I also used this one, I used with nail stamping already, and I think it turned out really well, especially the ring finger, when you do stamping that covers the nail a little bit more, it becomes a little peekaboo with the flakies, and you have a bunch of colored flakies here, I thought that was really nice, and the hollow, I really like this one, very different, probably another one I wouldn't have picked up, but I was glad it came in the box. And now, just wanted to show you guys how the magnetics work, the one that was indicated as a magnetic Pretty basic black base and then when you use the magnet or the cat eye style you just get all that metallic flaky coming to the surface and you're left with the black base. Pretty basic but still very pretty. I like it both ways with the magnetic and without and you can also do the velvet style magnetization for this one. I think it will turn out pretty well. I didn't test it but seems very promising for that technique as well. And the other magnetic, the camera did not pick up very well, but when you do the cat eye, it's so pretty because you get part of the line with that kind of golden color and the other part of that line with that pinkish burgundy color. Very lovely. You can also do velvet style for this one, but I think the cat eye is where this one shines. It's just so pretty. And this was my experience with the mystery box from Vanessa. I hope you guys liked it and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.